Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I am going to show you how I have upcycled this beautiful Welsh dresser. These Welsh dressers are not really easy to come by because they are small in size. Usually they are coming in a fairly large as a la fairly large piece. So I knew that this would sell very quickly. As you can see it had a fair bit of water damage. So I knew it needed a real good renovation and restoration, but I was up for the challenge. So let's see how I have upcycled this piece. So the first thing I had to do, as always, is I had to clean this piece. It wasn't too dirty compared to that it was stored in a kitchen, so it wasn't too greasy. But still, it did have some ingrained dirt from the years of it being used. So to clean it, I have used my usual elbow grease and just a bowl of clean water. After the cleaning was finished and the whole piece has dried, I took my Ryobi Orbital Sander and I used a 120 grit sandpaper to sand down the top because I wanted to leave the top natural. Uh, 120 was enough because it wasn't there wasn't any thick layer of varnish or lacquer or wax on it, so that was more than enough for it. And then for finishing, I have used a 180 grit sandpaper just to have a very nice and smooth finish. And after the top was finished, I just had to sand the edges of the top. The edges are always a bit more difficult because they have very small crevices and it's a bit difficult to get into those crevices properly but to clean that or to sand that I have used just use your sandpaper and I folded it to get to the edges the best I could. After the top was completely sanded down the next thing I had to do is to scuff sand the entire piece. This allows to remove any remaining dirt if there was any and also it allows the primer to adhere to it really well. So I would highly suggest to anyone who is starting out to always scuff sand. It's actually really worth it. After the scuff sanding I went on with a very lightly damp cloth and tried to remove all the dust that occurred from sanding and this is the last cleaning before I get to priming. And finally, onto my almost favorite part, which is priming. My, my favorite part, of course, is painting, but I do enjoy priming because it's just one step to get to the painting. So to prime this piece, or any piece usually that I'm painting and priming, I am using a Zinser red bin primer, which is the red one, and that contains shellac which allows or instead which blocks any stains from bleeding through the paint and it's especially useful if you are painting the furniture to a light color because you don't want to end up having all those knots from the wood showing through your beautiful paintwork 
and to apply that I'm just using this roller which has proved to be really really working well so I was really pleased with it and it's a really fast method of applying this Zinser primer. And for the crevices that I wasn't able to get to with my roller, I was just using a sponge which I dipped, dipped into the primer and just dabbed those areas. Also, I'm doing a better job off camera, but it was difficult to take a video and also do this project and do this work. So just trust me, I did a better jo job than this. And now it's the fun part. Let's find this piece. So as you can see, I tried to open this <laughs> jar and I had no, not much success. So I actually just ended up with quitting trying and asked my husband to give me help. Just one of the fun parts of upcycling furniture. So after I was saved and the jar was open, I just gave it a little stir just to make sure that all the ingredients of it or the components of it are all mixed up evenly and then I was finally able to get to the painting part which I was so excited about. To paint this piece I am just using a fairly cheap brush. I'm buying my brushes from Vilco, it's their own brand and it's only about three pounds for a brush and it just works so well. I love it so much. But I'm just gonna keep quiet and I'll let you enjoy this video now. And after all the painting has been done, I'm just treating the wood with this finishing wax by Rustoleum. This is a very very good finishing wax, it's a clear wax and it's going to protect all the wooden bits of this furniture. I'm applying the wax with a round brush which allows me to get really deep into the or the wood grain and then after that I am just using a buffing up bed to buff up the surface and to make sure that it has a nice shine and there won't be any streaks. And here is a quick reminder of how we started with this beautiful Versh dresser. And here is how it looks after. I honestly think that it looks so amazing. It just really, this, this color just really enhances all these wood crevices. And it's not a gray color, not a white color. It's a lovely off-white color that would suit any home. And by the way, I saw this piece within a couple of days. So I was really, really pleased with it and wear it fit in the new customer's home, it was just a perfect fit and she was really happy. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please be sure to follow me for new videos. I'll see you guys soon.